Hi, this is George. Welcome back to the LinkedIn course on how to gain more clients using LinkedIn as a solopreneur. So uh, here we are back at the mind map and what we have talked about thus far, what we've been going over is filling out your LinkedIn profile. Now, one thing that I have just added since the last video was about your profile photo, okay? And the profile photo, your profile photo on LinkedIn, you know, a lot of people use a quote unquote professional or corporate look. You know, for example, on my on my LinkedIn, um, on my LinkedIn, this is my current photo. As you can see here, it's very, it's a suit and it's me in a suit and a tie. And the irony of it is, I took this photo six years ago when I began my coaching business, and at that time, I was doing coaching and more uh, talking to people about their finances and about their work productivity. And so I wanted to come across as more professional in terms of, um, you know, I'm, I'm an MBA, I know business well and all that. Um, my business has evolved a lot since then. Uh, I am much more um, casual now in my, in my outfit. I, I have uploaded about 70 video, training videos on YouTube and all of them are me in casual outfit. And so I'm going to be updating my photo in the next couple of weeks, I hope. I just, I just took some photos with a photographer uh, actually this past weekend. And I don't know how long it's going to take for those photos to be available. But I'm going to be updating my photo so it's much more, uh, it's less, much less business-like and much more uh, of the real me in my videos. And so uh, that's something that you should really think about is how do you want to come across what kind of people do you want to attract to you? And when you attract them to you, what is the first impression you want to give them? Uh, for some of you, it may be business suit and tie, corporate type of look. But for some of you, it is, uh, for example, if you are a holistic healer, or maybe you talk to people about spiritual issues, your outfit may be, may be more, much more spiritual, maybe softer. You know, or maybe you are um, a designer of some kind and you want to look a lot more colorful. In your profile photo. So remember that the profile photo is really important. It's one of the things that is most seen on LinkedIn when it comes to searching for you. And so you want to, to represent the feeling of your personal brand. Okay. And one way that you can get feedback about your profile photo is ironically going to Facebook because right now up to this point in the course we haven't yet talked about adding connections. Now some of you may already have some connections on LinkedIn but some of you don't and so I'm not going to expect that you uh, you know really um, one of the best ways to get if you already have connections on LinkedIn okay let's say you already have connections then you may actually want to um, publish a post on LinkedIn okay so click so you see what I did I went back to home okay and then I clicked on publish a post and then you can actually then uh, while I'm waiting for this to load, you can then uh, you know don't 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 upload anything here. But here in the um, in the section, you can say which LinkedIn uh, which photo should I use for my LinkedIn profile? You know, profile, right? And then here you can say here's version one, here's version two. Um, how I'd like to come across is is and you know, just describe you know describe that you know I want to come across for example for me I want to come across as being approachable I want to come across as being successful and yet approachable and warm because that's how people you know my my clients describe me as warm approachable smart um, caring so that's kind of how I want to come across and so that's and then here you know I would upload a photo you can click on add image and you upload an image of one profile version and here's a second profile version and then you know once you finish doing that you can click on um, publish I, you, maybe let me reduce the screen a little bit you click publish and what this happens is this goes out to your LinkedIn connections and it actually goes out publicly as well but it's okay if it goes out publicly because um, well you have to think about that but I think Probably either photo you, 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 you give people an option for, maybe there's a version 3 as well, is probably going to look okay. And once you get some comments and votes, you can decide to come back and delete 
your posting and the way to delete a posting. This is, for example, um, uh, a posting I made. If I want to delete this posting, I just click on delete. Okay. And you, you might be wondering, well, how do I get back to my postings? Well, when you click on profile, and then you scroll down, you will find a section that says posts, and that's actually going to be one of the top, one of the top sections. And then this is how you can find your postings. And when you go into the postings, you can delete it there. So that's one way. Uh, I'm sorry. When you get into a posting, you can um, click on the posting. Okay, actually, no. Okay, sometimes you have to click edit post, and when you click edit post, you can then delete the post. Okay. So the other way, if you don't have connections on LinkedIn already, you can go to Facebook and ask your Facebook contacts. You can click on this, for example, uh, in Facebook, and probably you already have Facebook friends. So click on add a photo, and you can add multiple photos on Facebook. I'm not going to do it right now, but you can add more than one photo and says, um, hi, friends, I'm, I'm updating my LinkedIn profile, um, profile and wondering which one you feel best um, expresses me in these characteristics um, uh, that I'd like to come across as you know warm approachable uh, smart um, caring you know etc etc et so so um, business savvy you know so that's what that's probably what I would probably I would say my man would say spiritual um, so you could do that add photos and ask your friends and get their comments. And once you, once you get some votes, you can check in with your with your own intuition about whether you believe uh, you want to go with the top vote or not. And then finally, go to your LinkedIn profile. And the way to upload up upload your photo is to click on profile. And then if you haven't uploaded anything here, you would be able to uh, click here. It probably will say upload photo. Or if you already have a photo, you want to change it and click on here. So I hope that helps and. Uh, uh, you know, you can use this course, this Udemy course community as a way to uh, ask people as well and give people their feedback on theirs. So please feel free to comment on this module and ask people to give you their opinion on whether you think, um, well, actually, in fact, I think in our Udemy, uh, you can, uh, you know, I'm actually logged in as a as an instructor, so I, I, I can't see the X. But I think in the, let me actually go back to the course and see if I can uh, add a discussion. There we go, add a discussion. Yes, you can actually insert images, and I wonder if you can insert more than one. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I don't know, I'm just gonna take a quick screenshot, and um, I'm gonna insert an image here, and uh, I'm gonna see if I can insert another image just going to kind of random screenshot here and see if I can insert another image here. Okay. Okay. Um, yes, I can actually insert mul multiple images. So if you want feedback from the community about this, you can go in and, 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 and add a discussion to this module. Um, I'm not sure if you can add a discussion specifically for the module. But you can add a discussion in general to the course and say, hey, which one do you think best expresses the characteristics I'm looking for? And uh, you may want to even give a, a link to your LinkedIn profile if you know how to do that. Uh, that's coming in one of the future videos if you don't know how. And um, by the way, I should let you know that I'm not able to always respond quickly on, my, on, on the LinkedIn course, but if you see other people uh, submitting discussions, please, please do reply and help them out and be seen as a helpful uh, star in, in our course community. So with that, I look forward to sharing with you the next module. And as always, the most important thing besides learning is applying what you learn. Okay. So until the next episode, take care.